This is truly something that all Americans should be paying attention to is BRICS blockchain payment system. So in today's video, I'm going to break down how the BRICS countries led by Russia, China, Brazil, India, Russia, China, and South Africa are moving ahead with plans to create a payment system based on blockchain technologies. Their goal is to increase the BRICS international monetary system and decrease dependence on the dollar. Now, what are their motivations and implications on this? The BRICS countries see the U.S. dollar dominance as a weapon. They're using it to weaponize, and the dollar through economic sanctions is a major issue that they want to address. And by establishing an independent BRICS payment system based on blockchain, they view that they can de-dollarize from the American dollar. So we're going to break that down in today's video. My name is Coach JV. What I work to do is make very complex macro and microeconomic strategies very simple so the normal everyday person can implement them. I have two amazing free resources for you. Number one, we get hundreds of questions about how I talk about ensuring my wealth. I basically insure my wealth at the bottom of the risk pyramid by using insurance. We teach you how to insure your family, insure your life, and also insure your wealth. You can set up a free consultation with my licensed insurance team in all 50 states by clicking the description of this video or in my social media platform. I currently, from my paradigm, use Index Universal Life. We have many other options to help you. I also have an absolutely free guide, free book that I wrote to share with you exactly what I cover on the back end of every video. That's in the description of this video or in my social media platform. So let's dive right into this. So the biggest thing I've been focused on since 2020 is really, really, really try to understand at a deep level, I say understand, I'm not under anybody, but understand at what is actually happening in our financial system. So we know that since 2009, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, South Africa, excuse me, have been working to de-dollarize. Now, think about that for just a moment. Is it ironic that Bitcoin's inception was in 2009? Is it ironic that in 2012, everything started to change in America, right? We had the FOMC created. We had the bank bailing committee created. Rosie Rios told to reduce coin and cash usage. And Obama created the rescue plan. Well, if we go back and we take a look at history and we look at things that are happening within America, America went through another massive, massive change in 2020. So we had 2026 to 2028, where America went through a great financial collapse in the housing industry. All these other countries are like, wait a minute, you guys are weaponizing the dollar against us. Every time you raise interest rates, it messes things up. You lower interest rates, it messes things up. So people are always dominated by the dollar. So we got a black eye when that happened because people are like, you're not even controlling your financial markets properly. BlackRock had to step in. And then in 2020, we turned the printing machine on full blast because of pandemic. And BlackRock had to step in once again. Then by the time we got to 2023, the bond yields inverted and America is in a very, very tough position. So if we take a look at what is actually happening. And now, Again, I'm not saying that all of a sudden the dollar is going to lose its dominance, but you need to really pay attention to Ray Dalio's changing world order. It is following the exact pattern of the fall of a great superpower. Okay. 50 years before Rome fell, what did they do? They demasculized all the men. The men started to stop being masculine. They stopped focusing on their families. They didn't have their shit together and the Trojan horse came in. The same thing is happening in America right now. We're heading into World War III, and then usually after a world war like World War II, you have innovation, you have a new superpower, you have new technologies, and there's a moment in time where people like you and I are actually getting a piece, Main Street is getting a piece of Wall Street, and the change in innovation technology. So everything they told us that was a fraud, cryptocurrency, all this stuff happening, is actually your new financial system. It's the new financial system that they're actually creating. So this came out in 2023. It says Russia and China have been teaming up to reduce reliance on the dollar. And here's how it's going. Well, that was in 2023. Let's fast forward to 2024 and how quickly things are changing. I'll pause for just a moment. Remember when Russia invaded Ukraine? What did Biden do? He worked to take him off the Swiss system. And just a month ago, he put five more sanctions on him financially. They're done, guys. They're done. They're working to get off of the U.S. dollar dominance. The BRICS is encouraging Saudi Arabia to trade oil outside the U.S. dollar. And that is what gives our money value. 1994, after 1971, we detached from the gold standard where they didn't have our gold. They made our money fake. And by 1974, we went into what's called the petrodollar. That petrodollar is getting smashed. That's what gives our money value. 
After that, it's just our belief in it. But I think you can see in America that a lot of people are losing their faith in the American dollar. Okay, so this came out from Digital Assets and Forbes. I love their titles. Their titles are so intense. It's more dangerous than nukes. China and Russia revealed to be suddenly abandoning the U.S. dollar. It's not sudden. This has been going on for a long time. For a Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP-inspired rival, Amid Crypto Price Pump, okay? It says, we believe that creating an independent BRICS payment system is an important goal for the future, which would be based on a state of art tools such as digital technologies, blockchain, Kremlin aid, Yara Yulosevic told Russia Taz News Agency this week. I did pretty good at reading that. Bitcoin, as well as other cryptocurrencies such as Ethereum XRP, are distributed ledger technologies known as blockchains to record value transactions without a need for a central authority. It says the main thing is to make sure it is convenient for governments, common people, and businesses, as well as cost-effective and free of politics. So this is somebody from Russia said. So that's interesting. I can't even pronounce that dude's name. I can try that. So let's continue to move on here. So this is the Russian news agency. It's from a Russian, Russian news um, outlet. This is March 4th. Um, March 4th, 2024, it says Kremlin announced this is the creation of blockchain-based payment system in BRICS. It says work will continue to develop the contingent reserve arrangement primarily regarding the use of cryptocurrencies different from the U.S. dollars, the Kremlin aid that guy Yuri Yurcevitz pointed out. It says, we believe that creating an independent BRICS system is an important goal for the future, which would be based on, oh, it's the same <laughs> that must be where F F Forbes got it from. So this is where they got it from. So it's the same exact article. But we can see that they are working to move to a digital currency. I crack myself up sometimes. All right. So we go here. Uh, it says, what is behind the 40% drop in China's U.S. Treasury holdings? I just wanted to show you guys this um, and bring this up and share with you guys what is happening. This is what's actually happening. These are facts, figures, numbers, logic. People are like, it's fear mongering. Guys, this is what's actually happening. Countries are reducing their holdings of treasuries. They are watching us like a hawk. They are watching our banking system. They are watching Jerome Powell sit there with a 120% debt to income ratio. He doesn't know which lever to pull, man. He needs to actually raise interest rates, not lower interest rates, but he has a presidential election coming in. And so they are literally feverishly watching us, seeing what moves we make, guys. We are broke. In America, it says right here, the balance of U.S. Treasuries held by China totaled $805 billion in August, down 40% from a decade earlier. Ten years earlier, it's down 40%, according to data from U.S. Treasury. So we got 2009, 2010, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 24. So 13 years later, we're now in a position where Brazil, Russia, India, China, South Africa, UAE is coming on board. They're bringing on five new nations onto BRICS and they're working to de-dollarize. So what I'm going to predict is going to happen is we're going to an even playing field. This shows right here. El Salvador doubles down on their Bitcoin. They decided this article basically says he's going to buy one Bitcoin a day if they can afford it, a Bitcoin every single day. So what is actually happening, guys? What is happening in the scheme of things? This is a transfer to a new monetary system. That's what it is. The old archaic banking system is dead. The analog system is dead. Most people are not even going to realize that they're using blockchain technology. Most people aren't going to realize that they're using cryptocurrency. They're so used to digital, all using a digital uh, online platform, a debit card, a credit card. So the very thing you got fudded out of, the very thing you resisted, most people won't even know you, they're using blockchain technology. Most people don't know that Wells Fargo is with R3. They don't know that JP Morgan has their own blockchain technology. They don't know that Bank of America has Ripple in their patent. They don't know that a lot of companies right now are moving to these cloud computing technologies, quantum financial system. We're moving from analog to digital, moving from Web 2.0 to Web 3.0, industrial to technical. So that's where my mindset is on this. These are facts, figures, numbers, logic. I'm not going to sit back and wait for the news to tell me what's happening i'm looking historically understanding patterns using logic looking at history to say okay in world war ii when we came out of world war ii we had innovation technology growth right and there was a new superpower which was america now we're heading into world war three what's going on right now you have ai technology cryptocurrency blockchain all these different things happening we're going to come into a new world after world war three and that's going to be our economy for the next hundred years 
and there's an opportunity for the normal everyday person to invest in it. So what I did personally, I'm only speaking from my paradigm, is what I did was I invested in the speculative asset sell crypto back in the 2000, late 2019, early 2020, and I started stacking my cryptocurrency. Now, as I educated myself and became more mature in the space, I realized that cryptocurrency is not my retirement. It's extremely volatile. It's extremely speculative. And Wall Street will win 100% of the time, especially now that they're involved in these ETFs, right? That, you know, I didn't know they were coming back then, but I knew first they resist it, then they sue it, then they regulate it. So what I did is I built a robust crypto portfolio. And as everybody was coming in during the bull run, I exited the markets. So that was my first round in 2020 to 2022 as I set up my index universal life. I personally use that because I, I trust it. I love it. I've been using it for three years before I ever became licensed. And now our new paradigm, our new game plan over the past 2020, 2021, 20, almost three years, what we did is we built diversification, cryptocurrency, index universal life, businesses, precious metals. We're now heading into real estate and most of all self-development and building a foundation and a strong relationship with God, principles, morals, and ethics. So from this bull run on, now we're working to build generational wealth. So what I'll be personally doing is I'll be using Merlin, the smartest way to track your crypto right here. I'm the co-founder and creator. Again, everything I talk about is something I've created, co-founded, or I'm the owner of. So down below in the description, you can do 30 days for free. This shows right here an exit plan. An exit plan is laddering on the way up. And the best way to explain it, to explain it is a surfer, right? So say a surfer's coming up the back end of the wave to catch a top, and I know they're in the front end of the wave. Let's just pretend they go up the back of the wave, right? So I'm on a surfboard and all these surfers are going up the back of the wave, right? But every surfer is looking at the top, like I'm gonna catch the top. I'm gonna be the person to catch the top. On the way up, I'm pulling profits out of the wave on the way up and all the surfers get to the top and I do too. And I'm trying to catch the top. The difference is when everybody comes collapsing down and the one surfer catches a wave and makes some profit is that I've pulled profits on the way up. And what I've done is I put it into my max, uh, max funded by index universal life policies so that it guarantees my principal. If they're set up properly, very key, I can borrow against the cash value eventually to buy back into the markets, to buy more real estate tax free. There's tax code 7702A, which allows people to use insurance to borrow against tax-free the cash value. It's the IUL is not the tax code 7702A. That's a tax code that allows people to borrow from insurance policies tax-free, right? So for me, I educated myself on understanding how to buy liabilities with assets, right? How to be patient and wait for things that, things that I want. I wait for an asset to pay for the liability. Things that I need, I buy now. Right. And so what we've done is we've turned our money, just like the banks, they take your money, they bank it up and they make it current. We've turned our money into currency. We remove the third party. We do what the banks do. Banks insure your wealth. Banks put your money in the capital markets. Banks lend your money or to the next person walking in. So we use banks to transact. We use banks to pay our employees. We have banks to pay our bills. And then I, everything outside of that, we invest it in cryptocurrency. We put it in index universal life. We put it into businesses where it can get cash generating assets. So it's just a very simplistic process to get your money to flow through the system. But I just hope that you guys can see that there's this wave of energy and there's a massive, massive change. And so what I'm presenting to you is just the facts. This is what's happening. China and Russia are de-dollarizing. And they want to take a bunch of people with them. People are done with the dollar being weaponized. So you have to ask yourself in this wave of energy, where are you going to end up? Jerome Powell said he's worried about the middle class getting wiped out, moving down to the working poor. Okay. Which side are you going to be on? Are you going to be on the wealthy side of this? Or are you going to be on the working poor side of this? Because at some point people are going to need assistance. What do you think they're going to use to give you assistance? A central bank digital currency. So these are just things that I'm understanding from my level, things that I'm doing to protect my family, you know, the insurance, the Rockefeller system, the trust. I have everything set up so that my family can prosper during these times. But I want to make sure that everybody gets financial literacy, financial education, most of all financial discipline, because they don't teach us this stuff in America, guys. They don't teach us this type of stuff in America. Other countries, they're training their kids to be entrepreneurs, how to save, how to build, how to grow. And in America, we teach our kids how to trade time for money, so much time they can't pay attention. We tell them to go to school, get a job, get a 401k, and you put them in a job that they hate, taking them completely out of their creative state of mind, their Christ consciousness, higher consciousness mind. We have them in the left hemisphere of the brain, and they're depressed. They have anxiety. They hate their life. They hate their job. And you expect them to thrive with their family. So it's time for us to rise up. It's time for us to get our shit together, lock arm in arm, and climb up this mountain and make this world a greater place. I love you guys. I appreciate you, as we always say. Warriors!
rise, get your shit together. Let's go. Remember everything you need in the description of this video, set up a free consultation with my insurance team, download my free book. You can download Merlin 30 days for free. We love you guys. Talk to you soon.